they had to do a Simon to sign, he began plucking every single feather from that bird. He removed all the big feathers and then he took the bird over to the fire and he singed it. And after he singed it, he washed it clean. Can you imagine the boy's surprise when the bird sang a four verse? The bird sang. You better season me now. You better season me now. Hey, medium side my touch. You better season me now. You better season me now. You better season me now. Say, medium side my touch. You better season me now. Now the boy was in a trance. He was in a spell. He had to go as the bird sang. He was told to season it. The boy got some seasoning. He got some black pepper. He got some salt. Hey, he got some jerk seasoning, he got some turmeric, he seasoned the bird good and proper. Can you imagine the boy's surprise when the well dead, well plot, well seasoned bird sang him a fifth verse? This is why he sang. You better boom me now, you better boom me now, say. As he was in a spell, he had to do as the bird sang. He got a baking tray. He poured some coconut oil into the baking tray. He put the bird into the baking tray, the baking tray into the oven, and he left it there until he thought the bird was well cooked. He took it from out of the oven. Can you imagine the boy's surprise when the well dead, well plucked, well seasoned, well cooked bird sang him a six verse? This is what he sang. You better eat me now, you better eat me now, say. Medium side man to you better eat me now, you better eat me now, you better eat me now, say. Medium side man to you better eat me now. And the boys in the trance, he said, the he had to do as the bird sang. He broke a leg off of the bird and bit into it. He chewed and chewed and chewed and chewed, but could not swallow the piece of meat in his mouth. Can you imagine the boy's surprise when the well did, well plot, well seasoned, well cooked, one foot bird sang him a seventh verse? And this is what he sang. <laughs> and he ate the rest of Simon to do even the bones. And when he swallowed the last mouthful of meat, things began to happen in his tummy, and it was not a song. His tummy began to heave. It was a gentle feeling at first, but then it grew stronger, and his tummy began to pump away. And then the sensation moved from his tummy into his chest, and his chest was there heaving away. And then the sensation moved from his chest into his throat, and his throat was there pumping away. All of a sudden, the boy's mouth opened. Out flew Simon Tutu. Feathers, skin, meat, bones, everything back together. He hovered in front of that boy, and he warned him. He said, boy, a graveyard is a place that you must respect, boy. Never go to a graveyard and throw a stone again. And with that, Simon Tutu flew through the door back to that graveyard, waiting for the next disrespectful, stone-throwing person who comes into the graveyard. And when you shoot me far, and when you shoot me far, hey, medium Simon Tutu, when you shoot me far, and when you shoot me far, and when you shoot me far, say, medium Simon Tutu, when you shoot me far. That is the story of Simon Tutu. And when I say snip, snap, snout, the story is out. Thank you for joining us on Caribbean Storybook. We hope you all enjoy the stories, songs, and music. And we look forward to seeing you next time. What good? What good every day, man, good nothing, walk with you. What good? What good every day, man, good nothing, walk with you. What good?